What up, stackers? Big Stack McGee here. How are you doing today? It's been a few weeks, but I uh, finally got a chance uh, right here on Saturday afternoon to make a video. And this is going to be my stack update for the months of uh, April through August. Um, this is a, probably the smallest amount of metals I picked up um, or the or a series of months since I started. And it's simply because of the, the price recently. But I'm going to go ahead and um, just show you what I got. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit more after. So firstly, I was pick, able to pick up this awesome roll of Mexican Libertads. The old school style. Absolutely love this design. And the fact that... Uh, and I, I like normal Libertads too. The more current ones, of course. It's been a while since I've picked any up. But these, uh, the diameter of these coins is is less, and it's a thicker coin, and love the sound that these make when they clink together. Lovely coins. <laughs> so 20 ounces of silver uh, from that. And I picked that up, I think this was an April purchase. Um, then we have here, um, this is only my second ounce of platinum that I own. I also own an Australian platypus from, I don't know, four or five years ago. But some American platinum, one ounce for 2020. And was able to pick that up when um, prices on platinum had, you know, plummeted, essentially. So that's nice there. If, I if memory serves me, this back up around 900 and plus dollars uh, now for platinum, so this is uh, pretty nice to pick this up uh, right before the premium started coming back up again. Then one of my favorite silver bars, I love this thing, the Scottsdale. I ordered this directly from Scottsdale in April, the beginning of April, and I think it took, I don't know, a month and a half or seven weeks or something like that to get here because they were so backed up. Um, and uh, so here we go, 20 ounces of silver. I have a couple of these. But I just really like this bar. And the only other, only gold that I got during this time was this 1980 uh, two rand coin from South Africa. And uh, I believe this has 0.2354 ounces of gold, similar to like a um, British uh, sovereign. Sorry, so there we go. So a little less than a quarter ounce of gold, 40 ounces of silver, and one ounce of platinum. So that's what we have for right now. Let me just talk just briefly about uh, kind of where things are at for me. I've had the hardest time pulling the trigger on any uh, bullion purchases as uh, we've had prices at the highest that, since I've been a stacker, and I've been at it for seven years now. Um, it's awesome because the value of my stack is the highest it's ever been, and it's pretty fantastic. But boy, oh boy, when you start seeing the premiums on on regular old bullion, generic, and everything, it's just really hard to pull the trigger on that. So I've saved up <clears throat> a bunch of fiat, a bunch of cash, that if uh, things come down all of a sudden, I'm able to jump pretty quickly and get more. So I'm not out of the, the market to pick more up. I just, when you spend seven years picking stuff up, and watching the prices plummet, 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 your dollar cost averaging as you go down, and you have a stack that's substantial, I see no need to pick any up at this point, but I certainly will resume when the prices come back down. And there are those that say that they won't. I don't know. I absolutely think they will. Um, they're going to fluctuate like anything else. Um, but do I think that silver and gold could continue to rise? Of course. Of course it can. It's what we've all dreamed of. But uh, I'm just not willing to pick them up at this price, these prices, especially when I have a stack that uh, I'm pretty happy with. So um, let me tell you what I have been getting into recently, and I'll be doing some videos on this, is uh, on a limited basis, I've picked up some um, <clears throat> ancient or um, vintage uh, government coins, specifically uh, silver dollars and stuff from the old United States um, varieties. Um, and so I've been kind of on the market for those because even though the prices of the base metals has risen sig significantly, the values on those coins remains somewhat steady, if not also increasing. 
Um, and so I've been able to pick a few up, and so I have some on the way um, that kind of round out my collection. I only have like six <laughs> graded coins to my name, but I've picked up a few um, that I've been had my eye on for quite some time, and I am confident that the value on those will only continue to rise. I'm really excited to to show those off uh, when I have them, but um, I'm not going. I'm done with stacking, and I'm only picking up graded coins. That's not definitely not in my nature. But uh, I am a collector at heart on some things, and there's certain pieces that I've wanted to have that would be just part of uh, a collection that gets passed on. So really excited about those. But that's pretty much it for right now. Glad to do an update. I'm going to try to do some more videos now, um, and uh, we'll be back at you sooner rather than later. So thanks for watching. This is Big Zach McGee. Everyone hang in there, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.